everyone welcome back to the channel the trick-or-treat studios dr loomis is turning up tomorrow morning i thought he was going to come today but i have to wait another day for him so in the meantime i wanted to do a shin godzilla video because i really enjoyed the last godzilla video that was like this with the buildings around him and the backdrop uh, using the bandai namco 10 inch godzilla minus one statue and shin godzilla is my favorite still is and also you guys are in luck because obviously if you've heard the news X Plus are releasing this figure again the 30 centimeter Yuji Sakai Shin Godzilla and they're also doing a black and white version which you know, looks very nice but I don't think I'll be getting that one or the new one of this I've got this one this is the one with the translucent vinyl so it sort of looks like it's glowing from within I don't really want any light up features and stuff like that I've already yep. reviewed the figure, that's on the Godzilla playlist on the channel. You go to the channel and scroll down, you'll see that big old Godzilla playlist. As well as like a werewolf playlist, got a lot of werewolf stuff. And uh, Jurassic Park playlist now has been added to the channel as well. And I just really, really wanted to do a video with this piece again. And I love using these buildings there on eBay by iPop Designs. And you've got the DTOF backdrop, you can get them on eBay as well. But when you zoom in and you position the buildings, you know, around the figure, it can look really real. And to get rid of that damn reflection. They're always battling reflections when it comes to this kind of stuff. But yeah, beautiful. Absolutely stunning to look at. I mean, having the buildings around it just gives it a hell of a extra amount of oomph, you know, when you're looking at it incredible but yeah the level of detail in these sculpts it's something really special to look forward to when you've got a new x plus godzilla piece on the way it's absolutely fantastic i don't have any on pre-order i am going to get the minus one regular version when that comes out the 30 centimeter figure um, but i haven't pre-ordered it which i usually would have done using buy e because that's been a really cool experience both times i've done that but i guess i'll just wait for it to be released and get it somehow I know it can be really daunting if you've never bought an X Plus figure before and you don't know where to get them. They're all made in Japan, I guess, and that's where they are available from. I've used Baiyi before to get them. That's a good one. You can get them on eBay, but it can be really expensive. Uh, I guess there's the, the G Store, the Godzilla Store in Japan. I'm not sure if they ship worldwide. Maybe they do. Uh, you'd have to look into that. And I know Big Bad Toy Stores sell them sometimes as well. So, yeah, there's, there's places you can get these. But be careful. <laughs> it's addictive. Uh, I mean, if you're just going to get one, this is a hell of a good choice. It's just pretty much unmatched when it comes to detail until that minus one Godzilla comes out. Because that you know, just looks incredible. It looks bigger than this as well. So a nice, big, awesomely detailed Godzilla minus one. Very much looking forward to that. I mean, you'll see what I mean here. I mean, this this looks awesome when you're zoomed in and you're looking at it from this angle. And you, I've got some really nice pictures, like just trying to get the bottom of the building in front of him in the shot, and trying to position those damn buildings around him. But it's difficult because he gets in the way, and it's just it is what it is. There, when you zoom out, it's not so pretty. <laughs> but this is. The joys of oh that's a nice angle right there that's just ooh, and then i have to try and get back as far as i can from the actual subject so i can zoom in but right there that's a nice little try and get all the edges out that's another thing you're always fighting edges you don't want to see the edge of the dioramas where it just suddenly gets dark with the room behind it you don't want that so you don't want it on that side either you don't want to see any reflections in the backdrop behind him you can still see the edge of the damn backdrop on the right see right there that's my picture i need to put a pause in here folks and switch to photo mode oh man this just looks freaking insane I was just taking a picture from about here and he just looks so mean it's quite dark the settings on the camera I mean that's everything really I mean you gotta have good lighting but it really comes down to the settings you've got your camera set up to I mean I'm no expert when it comes to these I just fiddle with the brightness basically and it's easier to have a picture that's a bit dark and then just bring up the exposure or whatever when you're 
editing it in a video or posting it on Instagram or something you can always brighten it a bit but I don't like when things are too washed out and too bright and for something like this it just makes it so much more creepy I can't stress how much it helps having the buildings around him that just looks incredible look at the teeth I actually did repaint the teeth on mine because they weren't cutting through as much so I made them a little bit lighter they're still off you know not completely white teeth I wouldn't do that but they do cut through a bit more now those eyes and the way they're catching the light it's just creepy that's absolutely my favorite Godzilla ever just totally sucked me into the world of Godzilla again so incredible and that's the other thing there are quite a few versions of Shin Godzilla out there to collect quite a few statues a few figures NECA, SH Monster Arts have done them, uh, X Plus, uh, Banpresto, Bandai, I'm not even too sure of all the different companies, but he certainly, he, you know, you got options. But my point is, in the movie, when he's just roaming around Japan, he's always got his hands turned up like this, and it gives it a really odd and interesting kind of feel to the whole thing. Makes you wonder a lot about what he is, where he comes from, what the purpose of Godzilla is in that movie. Um, but this is one of the few pieces where the hands are, you know, correctly facing upwards. I mean, there's other ones out there that probably do it too, like the gigantic version, which is up there. That's an incredible piece. And some mini versions of him by SH Monster Arts. Usually the buildings that I'm using at the moment are around that piece up there. I always say it, but it just looks like a massive mushroom cloud. <laughs> like his, his legs and thighs look like explosions. Here's a really nice angle. Beautiful. I have to get some pictures of this one. Now I don't actually own any of his... Well, I do own those small ones I showed you over to the right on the same shelf as the gigantic Shin Godzilla. I do own the second and third form of Godzilla in the movie Shin Godzilla, but they're very small, but very cool. But I would love to have like bigger versions, especially the third form, when he really started to stand on his back legs and resemble a more recognizable form of Godzilla, you know? But we'll see. The Omega Beast version looks really nice. Easy Hobby, I think that's the name of the company. But there's also the X Plus option for the different forms. There's that damn reflection again. That is such a nice angle right there to take a picture, but you can see. I mean, you could just say that that's the sun shining through the clouds. You know, probably. Looks alright, doesn't it? But yeah, that's a beautiful angle right there. If I zoom out any more, though, you see the edges of the. Let me get back. See, I'm, I'm back as far as I possibly can get. I'm right up against the radiator. <laughs> Literally can't go any further back than I am right now. But let me just try. Yeah, that's nice. All right, I'm going to finish up on this gorgeous angle right here. And just say thank you for watching, folks. Especially all the Godzilla fans out there. I just try my best to put out good content for you and show these pieces in the best way possible and I'm sure there's there's so many other ways and just better cameras better lighting better backdrops I mean Jesus some of the stuff I've seen in Japan I think uh, some of you might know what I'm talking about here it's the I don't know who made it to be honest with you it's a massive Shin Godzilla when he's firing the, bur the purple lasers and it's literally cutting into a building it's a huge diorama that they had on display in an event i think and it just looks amazing it's obviously nothing on that level but for my crude little setup here which is just you know this when you zoom in it really does look fantastic and i've taken some really cool pictures and i'm going to put them on the gram so check them out and i'll put more pictures at the end of this video the video will carry on after i say goodbye for a few minutes while i show you some more footage and pictures but yeah just Big love to everyone out there. Thank you for all your support on the videos over the years and thank you 
for watching my Godzilla stuff and check out the Godzilla playlist featuring all of my Godzilla pieces reviews, showcase videos, comparisons, outdoor daylight videos all that good stuff Alright, thank you for watching. Drop a like on it for me, folks. Take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.